So on the hottest day of summer so far, you lose your blower motor and therefore your air conditioning. Today, we're gonna to be fixing up the blower motor on old Dale the truck here, so stay tuned. So yesterday we had another really hot day and it was about 86 degrees, 87 degrees. The humidity was almost 100% and it was hot. I went to get into the truck to go to lunch and I started smelling something coming through the vents. It was that electrical burning smell. Uh, so I shut the vents off. The smell went away a little bit or dissipated and I cranked it back on because it was getting so hot and I just kept smelling it. So I then realized that the noise, the little growly noise that I was hearing from the blower motor finally had caught up to me. So I went the rest of the day with no AC. I know, terrible, right? Anyways, so I had to order a blower motor for the truck. I got it in today and today we're going to show you how to replace it. It's very basic and very simple on these trucks, so let's get to it. So this is the blower motor on the truck. They're outside under the hood, so they're very easy to get at, other than a little, a couple little screws underneath. Um, you got a couple of, of 3 16 screws that we've got to come out all the way around. And a couple of things you want to be uh, mindful of is you've got your power wire here, you've got a ground here, and you've got a gasket in behind. That gasket may be in pretty rough shape, so you're going to be careful taking that off, and you will need to reseal it. So whether you use gasket sealer or reuse this gasket, will depend on what kind of shape that is when you take it out. So I've got some of these screws started. Let's get the rest of them out. You'll see that we've got that out and if you notice any debris down inside that compartment, now's the time to get in there with a vacuum and uh, vacuum all that up because that trash can get up into your heating system and start blowing in your face. Now's the time to clean it up. Same thing with your little squirrel cage here. If this is dirty, now is the time to get that clean while it's out of it. We're gonna take it off because we do have to replace it <clears throat> and put it on the new motor. So a couple of things to keep in mind. On this little squirrel cage or this fan, you'll notice there's some little plastic clips on there at various points. Those are weights that helps keep that cage balanced while it's on there and spinning at high speed so that it doesn't prematurely wear out your motor. Try and keep those on there. If they do come off, make sure they go back in the same spot. This one's fairly clean, so we're just gonna take the fan off. There's a little 5 16 nut right there. We're just gonna take that off with the uh, drill. Pop it onto the new shaft and just kind of reverse our order and get everything back inside. So this thing is going to be on here pretty good and probably what I'll do is I'll grab a flat screwdriver and we'll just kind of go around and pry it up. Uh, part of the problem that you're going to run into is that this is only plastic. You start bending and twisting on there too much, you're going to break it. Remember, this is as old as the truck is likely. So let's get a screwdriver and we'll see if we can pry that off. Now once you get that off, there is a little piece that slides down over there and it's shaped like a square to match that hole in the bottom. So make sure you take that off and put it in to the new motor. This motor here is pretty much had it. I can hardly even turn it with my fingers. So pretty good indication that that's what the problem was. Let's take a look at the new one. So now this new one here turns quite freely. No issues there. We want to make sure that we take this piece and slide it back down on top. That's going to help spin that squirrel cage. And uh, we've got to find some new gasket material because that stuff there was just some old dum dum that looks like it's dried and cracked. Probably can't reuse it. Okay, so we've got all the old gasket peeled off on that surface there. And even though we've got a new surface here, I'm going to take some of this rubberized tape I didn't have any of the same dum dum type stuff to make a seal there. But we're going to take this rubberized tape and we're going to mount it all on the inside edge here. And then when we seal it, it's going to be perfectly sealed. So let's get that done. 
So the rubber tape that I had wasn't working very well, so what I've opted to use is this foam tape. So it's really wide, actually too wide, so I'm just going to peel it off. And I cut it in half, and we are going to attempt to use this, if I can get it to come off the thing here. We've got our foam tape on here, and a neat little trick so you can find your screw holes is to put the screws through the foam and it'll hold the screw in place so you can get them in. Once you get at least two in place, then you'll be able to find them based on where the holes are on the back of the blower motor. So let's get those screws in place and then we'll put the blower motor back on and put this thing back together. Okay, so our blower motor is installed, everything's hooked up, it's time to go inside and test it and see if it works. Fingers crossed. Seems to be good to me. So now that we've got that working, it should be a nice cool ride back home tonight. All I gotta do now is uh, put my jack rods back together so they're not rattling around, clean up all my tools, and we'll call this video done. So that is how you install a blower motor into a square body pickup. And if I remember correctly, it's the same from 73 all the way to 87, and your Suburban's up to 91. So. Oh yes, much, much better. AC good, humidity not so good. So glad to get that fixed up. It was a quick fix, that lower motor. I had to wait a day to get it, but at the end of the day, it was only, I think, $64 or something like that for the right one with AC for this truck. And maybe half hour, 40 minutes to change it out. Not a big deal. I hope you guys learned something today on how to change those out. And uh, if you stay tuned to the channel, We'll have more kind of do-it-yourself type things to do on square body trucks, some B-body mo uh, Mopars, as well as some Panther platform vehicles because, well, that's what I have. And uh, if you haven't already, I hope you subscribe to this channel because we are on our way to 5,000 subscribers and that is the goal to hit. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show is a show that myself and Grant Tommy, who is straight six fan, put on every Thursday evening at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic. We're just a bunch of car guys talking cars, and we hope that you guys can join in with the conversation on the chat, on the live stream. We alternate every week from my channel to Straight Six Fam. That's it. It's all she wrote. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.